the big thing is booster seats versus your child sitting in the front seat. Now, if your child is under four foot nine, then they're gonna need a car seat or a booster seat. It's not plan A, B, or even C, but it's plan Z. And its purpose is zero road congestion and zero tax increase. Academy's not just looking to hire for the holiday season, but also for the sports and honey season as well. And TW, I know you weren't able to go out to the parade today, but oh. I oh. made sure no, that I brought you back some bees and in oh. parade fashion. Okay. I'm definitely going to try to show it to you. Fantastic. Here. There you go. Oh, there yes. You go. Got them. <laughs> My first beads I've caught all day long. Courtney, thank yes. you very much. Yes. The city says litter has to stop. I'm Courtney Chandler. I'll tell you what's being done to clean up the poor city. President Trump, he's back in Louisiana, this time in Monroe, trying to convince voters why they should head to the polls and vote for Republican candidate Eddie Responi. There's a sign that's right behind me that says mass is suspended until further notice. And today, members and the pastor were passing out these cars and let people know of that mandate. And saying that it's rare because storms like the one this morning don't tend to have that type of impact here in the city of Mendon. In fact, many of the areas, they kind of look like this, trees down on either houses or power lines. Before hitting the field, students must first hit the books. Brenda, I just want to point out when I first came here, they told me that I was underdressed without surprise. So they made me feel like I was a little part of the fun. They gave me some beads and then they played some music for me to get in the spirit. <laughs> so I'm I'm dressed and I'm in the I got some music in the background, so I'm in the spirit now. So hey, I'm ready for Mardi Gras too. How about you? <laughs> We gotta watch you, Courtney. I know we got just a little bit of time, but let's hear from the folks. Hey guys, are y'all excited about tonight? Yeah. Y'all a little quiet. Are y'all excited about tonight? Yeah. All right, there you go. Well, Paige, we're reporting live right here on Foster Street. Courtney Chandler, WDHN News 18. It was it was crazy. Uh, there was cars, cop cars, police, uh, fire people out, and ambulances and. I mean, it was, it was crazy. Arlene Castellano says this shooting in her Boulder City neighborhood caught her by surprise late Tuesday night. I heard five gunshots go off and I knew that wasn't firecrackers, so I called. When Boulder City police arrived, they found 26-year-old Kaliska Williams with gunshot wounds. She was pronounced dead inside this home on the 900 block of Whittington Street. Neighbors say Williams lived at the home for only two months, and many believe that the shooting stemmed from a domestic argument. Castellano and other neighbors say the shooting has brought fear and concern to their community. You know, now it's just going to be a little more conscientious about the caution in the neighborhood. I have a lot of little people uh, that up and down this street, like little cousins and stuff like that, and. Uh, we don't want this happening over here in this area, so it is very much concerning. This case is under investigation. If you have any information, call the Bolger City Police Department. Something powerful hit us, but we're unhurt. Athens resident Adrian May says he's grateful to be alive after powerful storms hit his town two weeks ago. Many trees down, but none on my house. I just lost shingles and I'll have to have a new roof, but it's insured. So um, the fact that no one here in my family or my horses had a scratch on them is a great blessing. Areas like Old Arcadia Road that was once covered in tree debris is now cleaned up. Athens Police Chief Keith Watkins said the town is 99% cleaned up from the storms earlier this month. He says this was all possible due to the teamwork from different agencies. The fire departments, the first responders, everybody that came in and helped did so in a very professional way. It was all coordinated. We all staged at City Hall and from there we went out. Uh, not so everybody didn't just crowd up at one direction. We were covering a lot of directions at one time and I think that's the one of the reasons that it's gone as well as it has. But Watkins says there's still more work to be done. Mostly it's roof damage, uh, and then from there it's just structure damage such as the trees and 
that type of thing to get everybody back to normal. It's not church as usual. You can praise God wherever you go. God is always with you. God goes wherever you go. Praise Simple holds Sunday morning worship in the parking lot of their church. Pastor Bishop Lawrence Brandon says the Same message part. is to spread the gospel and not the virus. People remain in their cars and they keep the distance between them, but yet they can hear the word and see other people. This is a way for the people to get out in a healthy environment to receive a healthy word that will inspire them to be better citizens for our communities. Member Lakeith Oliver says she wasn't going to allow anything to stop her from getting to church. She says she's putting faith over fear during this pandemic. Same God that delivered them from the previous situations is the same God that's going to deliver us and is delivering us from this. In Shreveport, Courtney Chandler, KTBS 3 News.